welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a makeup review i feel like i haven't done one of these in such a long time and it is going to be a foundation review now i've never ever done a foundation review but it's going to be the cat bondi good apple skin perfecting foundation balm now this retails for 29 in boots this foundation has been raved about on tiktok you know everyone's going on about it so i thought you know what i will spend 29 pounds of my own money and try it out for myself now you know that this is not going to be a <laughs> review what i tell you is what i tell you end of i'm not gonna hype something up if it is no good um now on the boots website it actually says it is a buildable full coverage hydrating foundation balm with a lightweight and long wearable formula and a fresh matte finish in a full recyclable 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 packaging right Okay, so without further ado, with a little bit of editing magic, my eyes are done and my skin looks absolutely terrible. I'm gonna get into it now. Like I said, I've got shade six and this is a swatch range as well, guys. If anybody wants to buy one, there we go. And that is it. It's really pretty. Okay, so you get 10 grams in this but you know what it reminds me of i don't know if anybody knows or if you can find even find a picture there used to be a um urban decay product that was in like a little pack to compact i used to get the foundation all the time when i was oh god when i was back in high school it was a long time ago but it kind of reminds me of that so, um, like the whole packaging and everything like that, it's nice. I'm gonna try one with a sponge and one with a brush, so one side each. So I'm gonna go in with the brush first. So, let's try that out. It's very...
so overall with the brush it is very lightweight it is very it spreads so easy um the other thing i'm noticing in is that it does crease a little bit just there like on your smile lines but any foundations do do that i'm not seeing a lot of creasing up here but i am just here because i do have bad frown lines for some reason um but overall i do like it i'm gonna try it with the beauty blender obviously you need to wet it first and just gonna get a good bit on that so i've covered that bit there Okay, so I'm kind of seeing a difference now, but it could have, like I said, it could have just been the applicator, like the brush. Again, I've not used a lot, and it's virtually covered my whole face. A little bit more for the top. Okay, so the beauty blender is a lot better for like application wise. Um, I wouldn't use a brush on it, but it is very full coverage. I hardly used a lot and it has covered my whole face, which you know is good for a foundation and um, it is definitely a very full coverage i think i should have got a darker shade but this is my exact shade color for if i'm doing it for my own skin tone i really didn't use that much at all but i wouldn't apply it with a brush i would apply it more with a beauty blender because it does smooth out i mean because I've applied it with that beauty blender now, if you look closely, the, I mean, pardon my smile lines, <laughs> but cut this side is with the brush and you can see the creases that have come in and you can also see that spot there. But because on this side where the beauty blender has been applied, it is very uh, brushed out and around here as well, where I've had few spots and up here as well they've covered it it's covered like obviously you can see it because of the ring light and stuff like that but you can definitely see that it is covered it is very lightweight you feel like you've got nothing on at all would I buy this again in a, di a different shade for like on nights out of course I would I mean for 29 pounds you know, it's hardly, the pan is hardly being touched, really. Yeah, I like it. It's got my stamp of approval so far. Um, So far, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Because I want to see if it is, like it says, long wearing. That's what I want to see. So I'm just going to fix it all up, like especially on this side, because I want to get it like that side, all nice and hard. Um, I'm going to fix it all up and finish the rest of my makeup and show you the whole look together. I'll show you the time now. So the time is 2.14 and I'll show you once I've finished the house and everything like that. So I'm just going to fix it all up now on the other side. Again, I'm not putting a lot on.
Okay, so this is the finished look with everything lip gloss, the whole lot. Um, the foundation has, you know, it's kept really nice. Like, there's no creases now that I've blended it out. Um, there's no smile lines, so there's no cracks or creases. Um, or up here on your forehead either. I just have a very crinkly, wrinkly forehead, wrinkly, crinkly, because. I frown and I don't know I'm frowning. <laughs> I don't know how that happens, but it does. Um, so up to now, it's really nice. It's covered here, like it's quite prominent still because it's scabbed, but you know, it's covered it really well. Um, the coverage is amazing. Let's just see if it was it keeps to its promise and it is long lasting okay so the time now is half past two and i will check in with you in a bit and let you know how it's holding up so it is nearly half past four and I'm just giving you a little quick update um, on the foundation. Still no cracks, which is a brilliant thing. And it still looks very fresh. It doesn't feel very oily anymore. Um, even on my forehead, the cracks haven't come through. Um, it's not budged, so um, I'll give you a little update a little bit later on. So it is now six o'clock. It's now six o'clock, about half past six, and time to do my last check in. God, that's much. Okay, so. The foundation is nice, it's really nice. It kind of has set in a little bit here, but that could be because my skin is very dry today. But I did put a lot of moisturiser on and that before. It's not cracked a lot. There is a little bit of creasing showing just here in the smile line. But every foundation will do that. But it has been on a while. Um, it definitely hasn't fell off my face at all, as you can see. It's still on there really nice. It's covering really nicely. Um, and... Yeah, like round the sides and that's kind of gathered a bit, but that's fine. Um, but it's not noticeable, like really noticeable. Um, would I pay £29 for it again? Yes, I would because it is a really nice product. It feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't crack that much. Like I said, it's only a little bit here, but that's because... I use this side of my face, I sound mad, but I smile quite a lot and this is more like me, higher cheek bit because face is not symmetrical but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's, see here it's more defined in here than that one but it has creased a little bit but like I said, that is fine. Um, please excuse my mum. <laughs> but you know, it's it feels really nice it's still there it hasn't fell off because i am one of them people where i'll put a foundation on and it can just completely slide off within a matter of hours but it stayed on it doesn't feel oily it doesn't look too dry um it looks really nice and it still looks really fresh so yeah it has got my stamp of approval yes i will be buying it again 29 pound you know bit pricey but 
it is good it is definitely worth it so like i said guys i hope you have enjoyed this review if you'd like me to do more i feel like i haven't done one in so long um but go visit my instagram account and also go visit my facebook page it's just here um it's called lavina Ann and give it a little like and a little thumbs up for me please um also subscribe and like the video and i'll see you all again next time so see you soon bye